OpenAI has just released ChatGPT Search. This gives us real-time web searching ability to the ChatGPT interface, which is something we did not have before and is, in a way, a direct challenge to traditional search engines like Google. So this is very interesting. I don't think Google has had a real serious challenger in the search engine game for at least 10, if not closer to 20 years. And so I think it is uh, going to be a very interesting next few weeks, months, years even uh, in this space. But I'm very curious to know how it will do because as someone who does research, I have tried to evaluate ChatGPT's effectiveness at providing me relevant cited information. And I've noticed in the past that it will sometimes hallucinate false information, as in information that sounds plausible, a paper, for example, that sounds like it's published in a legit journal with authors that I would expect to have written that paper, but it turns out that it's, it's completely fake, the paper does not exist, the DOI identifier it provided is not real, and it's concerning, ultimately, because if it's making up realistic-sounding sources, uh, we would have to be very careful when using it. So hopefully, with uh, ChatGPT search, it has improved on some of those flaws, and I'm going to see for myself. Okay, so let's go ahead and fire it up. I believe you can only use it with 4.0. Uh, I don't think you can use it with 01 Mini, nope, or 01 Preview, nope. Okay, so we can only use it for 4.0. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to search for something that I would look for if I was back in graduate school. So for those of you who don't know me, I did my PhD in physics study black holes. And so I have a pretty good idea because I wrote a dissertation on it, like what are relevant sources that I would expect this thing to give me if it was giving me relevant stuff. So I'm going to ask it, please provide me relevant research papers since 2020 on black hole mass measurements with ALMA and HST. Okay, so this is a very specific request. This is the research that I did during grad school. So there are a few papers in my head that I imagine it should cite if it was a relevant, you know, if it was giving me relevant searches. Okay, so, oh, wow, what do you know? This paper is mine, actually. <laughs> that's my paper. What do you know? And the link to the archive, what do you know? That's me. Okay, that's how you get on my good side. You, 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 you put my citation up front first. So already, I don't know, that seems a little bit biased. And, and again, this is my paper too. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait, it cited it twice? Did it just cite it, cite it, cite it twice? Okay, so 1380, 6861, 1380, 68, um, hmm? This is the same paper. It was written by me. Oh, uh, okay. So they, they have the archive link. Okay, there, there, there I am again. And then you have Astrid at UWC. Who's doing this? Who put it? Wait. Okay, I'm actually a little bit confused. Who on this? Uh, who's Codman? Who's Codman? I don't know who Codman is, actually. Why did Codman put my paper on, on this website? I mean, I'm flattered, but... Oh, it's Cape Town. Okay, I think I know who might be associated with this, but I'm not so sure. Okay, interesting. Thank you for pointing that out to me, ChatGPT. I didn't know that my paper is on this uh, website, but I mean, they do cite me, so I guess that's I guess that's fine. It's just interesting to know that this paper, my paper, is on this platform. Okay, cool. Uh, next up is a paper that I'm also a co-author on. Oh, this is a proposal. Okay, so this is uh, an NSF proposal. I think I'm on this one as a co-I, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, no, it's actually the full paper, so there I am again. Okay, so interestingly enough, it's giving the relevant sources, but now I'm I'm kind of biased in this sense. Okay, this is really strange. The fifth reference points to this paper of the black hole mass measurement in NGC 0383 from 2021, but I know for a fact that 0383 was not conducted in 2021, but it was in 2019. And if I actually click this link to go to Oxford Academic, it takes me to the black hole mass measurement of NGC 7469, a completely different galaxy. And that's not even... The same author who wrote the paper on NGC 0383 over here, it was given by Eve North, which I remembered because it's one of the most highly uh, precise measurements of black hole masses to date. Uh, and so this is an incorrect citation right here. This does not actually um, go to where it claims to go, and it has this discrepancy here. So very interesting. Also very interesting that it cited my work twice, but in two completely different sources. Okay. So I would say, I'd like to say it was a great start, 
because it cites some of my work, but also some some incorrect stuff here. Now let's see, maybe if I want to do more of my historical research before my time. So let's just say, please provide references to the earliest black hole mass measurement papers. Now, if it does this well, it should take me to, I believe the 1978 paper of M87 should be one of the papers it references. That, that, that makes sense to me. Or maybe some 1980 papers with M87 as well, some dynamical model stuff. But uh, let's see here. So it's searching the web. Okay, so they cite Cygnus X1, which I didn't specify supermassive black hole mass measurements. I should have done that. But it's interesting because it does mention active galactic nuclei and Cygnus X1 is not an AGN, so not entirely accurate either. Again, we're talking about very, very specific papers in like this very niche field of research. So maybe I shouldn't be too harsh on ChatGPT, but it's just because I'm so fine-tuned to think about those things that uh, I'm, I'm very nitpicky. I'm like, no, this is this is not correct. Is this actually the title? So I, and I don't have a site. I don't have a source here, actually. Where are, the, where are the sources? So the sources point to things in point to things on the archive, but that's not the actual paper itself. Um, there is a 1978 paper by by Young and Sargent. I know that much. Oh, okay. So looks like I was mistaken here. Well, okay. Evidence for a supermassive black hole up in the nucleus of this. Wait a minute. This is not the same paper. Okay, so this is interesting because they're side they're mentioning this paper, which Young and Sargent are on the paper. I didn't know Oki was on it. This might be a, a different... This was done in a series, so maybe they're talking about the other M87 paper. Let me just see here. M87 paper, 1978 Sargent. Let me just see if that works. Yeah, the title is a little bit different. That's not exactly the title of the work. And Oki is not on this, actually. Oki is not on this paper, so... Yeah, I, I don't think... It actually got this entirely correct because it has Sargent and Young, which I, I knew, but I was surprised to put Oki on there because I was like, I don't think Oki's on that paper. So this part is correct, but it, the title of the paper is not exactly correct. The year is right. There's no citation, and it's including an author that is not on the, the papers that I'm sure it is actually referring to right here, as you can see. So um, very interesting, and you know, perhaps some more refinement is needed. And mass of the central object in M31, so that's Andromeda. And this, I believe, is a real paper. I do know that Cormendi and Richstone did do this, but I just want to see. Is it? Is there a paper here with that name? Yes, okay. So, oh, and is it just Cormendi and not Richstone? Oh, okay. So, hmm, evidence... Is there no Cormendi and Richstone paper? I mean, that's going to be hard because they both publish a lot together. Cormendi and Richstone, 1988. Okay, I'm just going to see if there's a paper 1988 with them. You have the Dressler papers. Uh, well, there's Doug Richstone there. Okay, so looks like to me that I don't think that paper actually exists. As in, perhaps it is an amalgamation of real papers, but it's, it, it's not citing a direct real paper. Like there are papers about M31 from that time period by both Cormendi and Richstone, but I don't recall and I can't seem to find this initially a source that has both of them on here. So interesting. And again, the sources don't really point to things very specifically. Let me see. Can you provide, can you provide resources for developing thin disk dynamical modeling codes to dynamic play supermassive black holes. Okay, so I actually don't know what it's going to give me here. There are a few things that come to mind, but and I spelled this wrong. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be very curious to know what it's going to tell me to, to look up here. And I will, I will either be very surprised or disappointed. Okay, let's see. Foundational text, galactic dynamics. That's, that's perfectly good because that is a classic book. Accretion power in astrophysics. Okay, I I don't think I'm familiar with this book actually. Is this a real book? I just want to double check here. You have to. I think the rule is trust but verify, or maybe not even just trust, just verify. At this point. So okay, yes. So this is a real book. Okay, good. Maybe it's, maybe I should get this book actually. Um, let's go back here. Research papers. 
black holes are made of. Oh, that's my dissertation. Hey, again, it's me. What do you know? It's me. I'm happy, but I don't know. Is Chat GPT is opening? I just trying to like butter me up here. I'm getting a little bit suspicious here. You you seem to be pointing me to me here, which is a great way to get on someone's great good side. And this is a paper by my collaborator, actually, who I believe I'm a co-author on this paper. Okay, this this I promise this was not planned. I did not just try to like get sources with me involved in here, but it's somehow giving me them. So I find this very amusing and entertaining. Uh, Nemo Stellar Dynamics. Okay, yes, this these are good tools, but I don't have sources to them. Uh, I do know these exist. Okay, so Nemo Stellar Dynamics. I believe that's by Peter Tubin, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let's see here. Yes, so. Oh man. Yeah, here we go. Wow, 1986. Goodness. It's, uh, it was a while ago. And uh, what do we have here? Galfit. Yep, I know what Galfit is. AstroPython. Okay. Th this is very generic here. Exploring repositories under topics like this. A really good book that should have been mentioned, I think, would have been Galaxy, uh, galaxiesbook.org. But, you know, that's because I have, you know, knowledge in this area of research. So, okay, I've been doing a lot of searching, and maybe this wasn't the most informative for people who don't work in astrophysics, but I think I wanted to convey to people who are researchers who might be considering using search GPT, um, or chat GPT search, I should say, you got to be careful. I think that it's a great concept. I would love for it to be able to link me to the sources I need, especially when it comes to like good resources and codes. But from what I've seen so far, it can be prone to making mistakes or repeating sources or uh, making up or, or con con conflating two different sources like in this case. So it does seem to be in its early stages and, and needs some more refinement, but uh, hopefully this is, this is decent feedback for OpenAI. And uh, I'm not going to drone on this much more because I think I've gotten to know it enough to know that I wouldn't fully trust it 100% without verifying the sources and double checking all the things it tells me. So hope that was useful to you who's watching this. I know it was very focused on my area of expertise, but I hope it can convey the capabilities of search, chat GPT search um, to other people as well. So thanks for watching and I'll be back with another video.